How's it going, everyone? Hero Gaming, and today we're playing Planet Crafter in this episode. So, in the last episode, we kind of got started off. Now, in this one, I did end up just expanding our base a bit. We're still got what we had, but this episode, we're going to actually try to get this going a little bit faster. So, we have the T2 heat generator. We're going to do a bunch of those, and then we're going to do some exploring, and yeah, let's get started. We unlocked a T2 solar panel. How does that operate? Oh, okay, it uses aluminum. Probably not going to make any of it because I don't want to waste my aluminum. And it doesn't actually do that much. Yeah, it does do almost triple. Yeah, it does triple the T1. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, still not going to make a bunch of it. And we have unlocked the T3 oxygen tank. Let's actually get the, that one. Could come in handy. It'll make our trips more guaranteed. But first, I need some titanium. There we go. Perfect. And then we're going to drop our... T2 heater right here and man that's a beast okay cool so what are we at right now okay so we're not going that much faster I figured it would be actually we are going a lot faster cool let's make a bunch of those now I over calculated oh no probably not gonna make it oh I hope it doesn't punish too hard if I die please don't make me lose the iridium no. <sighs> I lost my iridium. Does it come back? Please, no. Okay, so yeah, it leaves you a chest. <sighs> yeah, that, that part scared me a bit. I was, I was really worried there. Because... Oh, the chest disappears, too. Cool. Okay, let's make some more heaters. Oh, we got the progress screen, finally. Okay, so I'm just going to put one of these guys right here. Wow, I did not think we would run out of power. Okay, so we got our power back just for now. I'll put some more out there, but yeah, I did not think that would happen. Yeah, we're cutting it close. Yeah, heat is just flying through right now. You know what? I'm not going to make any more. Yeah, I'm going to keep those. I might need that aluminum for something else, and I don't want to take one down, so we're just going to keep that as is. Wouldn't hurt to eat. Okay, so I want one of these progress screens. Yes. There we go. Okay, so we are back. And we've unlocked a beacon. And we've run out of power, of course. Okay. There we go, we got our power back, but I'm going to build one more just to ensure the power stays back. There we go. We might actually be able to get to 175 in this episode. I'm very hopeful because we're almost at 30,000. It's up to 175. And considering how quickly we grew to 30k, you know, what if it's quick to the rest? So what do we need to build now? We have beacons. This helps me find my way. Awesome. Now we have the screen. So what does it say? I am 17% of the way to blue sky. So it is multiple stages. Nice. So it's not just to blue sky and it ends. Good. We got another message from Riley. I managed to sneak some more information. I read that you have more chance of success if you build your base in altitude. I'm not sure why for now. And if you manage to heat the planet enough, some caves could become accessible when the ice melts. If you build the base in altitude... One last thing, you can, and then just end of communication. Nice, good to know. If you build the base in altitude, at high altitude, so if you build the base vertically? Why? I guess we'll do it, but why? <laughs> or is it at a high place? That's weird. That doesn't, whatever, okay. Cool, so we're this far, now let's keep going. Now I wanted to build that third oxygen tank. Where is it? Third oxygen tank. Okay, time to build this. Oxygen tank T3, so we go from 100 to 280. Cool, so 100 is what you start off with. We now have 280, and sounds good. Now I'm very tempted to just sit here and wait for this guy to turn blue. Don't want to do that, but I am tempted. Hmm. We got Nexoskeleton 2. Nice. Okay, let's build one of that. 
I don't think I have any any more aluminum. Yep, we're out. Cool, good to know. Yeah, we're out of aluminum, so. Oh, a food grower is coming up. Yes, finally. Okay, we're almost there at the food grower. I'll see you guys in a sec. There we go. We got the food grower. Awesome news. Okay, let's make one. The food grower is aluminum. Aluminum and iron. Please tell me I have at least one aluminum. Okay, so considering the fact that we don't have aluminum, and I'm not going to take out that stuff for a food grower, considering the food grower doesn't really help with terraformation. At least... Yeah, it just grows food, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep these doing their thing. And we're going to go explore. Yeah, I figure that's our best use of our time. It's crazy, though. We're already at 42k. We're getting there, eh? Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to see blue sky this episode. Oh, is that the sky changing color? It's pink now? Or is that just what the sky usually looks like? That's pretty cool, though. Man, this game is gorgeous. I just hope it's a massive map and just you keep exploring so many things. Oh, we have resources in here. I completely forgot about these. Good to know. Okay, so we're going to go from the base. We're going to go straight north. Is that... <gasps> we found aluminum. Uranium. Wow. What are you? here? Okay. Yeah, see here I was thinking I found something cool, but I just found some magnesium. But that's pretty cool. They're, okay, so aluminum is found on land. And here I was thinking it was impossible. I'm like, oh, I gotta find more ships to get it. And... Nope, cool, good to know. Okay, so what were we gonna make with the aluminum? I need silicone and magnesium. Okay, so let me take off my exoskeleton. Which is gonna do a lot of damage. And then make it T2. Sounds awesome. And then we're going to wear that. Oh, I got to take something off. We're going to wear that T2. And then we're going to put this stuff on. That's insane. Okay, so are there that many things you got to get for your thing? Yeah, that, that sentence definitely made a lot of sense. Okay, so... Now, we're gonna go... Actually, let me get some ice, make some water real quick. I just realized I lost my compass. Where'd my compass go? I genuinely have no clue. I know I probably just... Did you get stuck? Probably just dropped it in here. So, yep, yeah, here it is. I had a feeling. Wouldn't want to get lost. In this beautiful game. We got locker storage. Now, what does it take to build that? Three iron. I'm going to see what it stores, actually. Because it might be a better idea than all these uh, other storages. Keep on trying to make. Is it much bigger? Or is it just a waste of three irons? Okay. Built it. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we're gonna definitely going to use those guys. There we go. So we got a locker storage. Let's put everything we have in there. Perfect. I'm going to grab three more just so I can build another locker storage. Make me some water. And then locker storage as well. It's more like it. Okay, cool. Now we're going to go exploring. So we're going north. I found a chest. And some more aluminum. Guess we're going to take that. Aren't we now? Yes, we are. So it does come naturally, just inside whatever this is. Are right there? Okay, so we were going north. Now we have to go south in a bit. To go back to base. Oh, I got a drill T3. What does that need? Eh, aluminum is nothing. It's a resource I have a lot of anyway. Whoa. This is crazy. What is this game? Okay. So there's, there's a... How do I get up there? Oh, no. I got... Okay, let's grab this aluminum. And I need to build myself either a base... Which I don't have the resources to do just yet, but I could probably just build one. 
Okay, so I got the two iron. I need a third iron for the door. So I got that, and then I need two titanium and silicone. Got the silicone, I just need the two titaniums now. Do I commit, or do I not commit? Ah, oh, shoot. I found the two titanium, though, so that's good. I can commit now. Okay, let's build it there. Let's build the door here, and up we go. And breathing. Barely made it. Seconds away. Okay. Cool, so now I'm just going to keep these resources with me and then carry them around. So I want to go here. One sec. Just out of sheer curiosity, what's up here? Okay, so here if I go to the right, that's my place. And then here, what's over here? This looks pretty cool. It's a canyon. Yo. Man, this game is so big. There's a chest there, but I don't want to go there because I guarantee I'm not going to survive it. What are you? Wow. Man, it keeps going up, eh? That's crazy. That is honestly insane to me. Okay. So, let's keep where we are right now, and then we'll, you know, we'll do some more discovery there in a sec. So, that looks like there's going to be a lot of good stuff in there. Even bridges and stuff, eh? That's pretty cool. Okay. Deconstructor X. Nice. Yeah, I don't have a lot of inventory room. Hydration level critical. Good thing I'm ready for it. What, what's in you? What do you have? Okay, so... You know what I am going to do? I'm going to build a base right here. Just so I can get rid of those resources for now. And then, do I have three irons? I have three irons. So we're going to make a locker in here. Just for the important stuff. I'm going to drop anything that isn't important, like cobalt. Cool, we're good to go. Cobalt, I don't like you. Perfect, now we're good to explore. This is so cool. Man, exploring the insides of these is amazing. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what this is made out of. Just straight iron. Oh, I know I see the chest. One sec, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. I can hear you screaming. No need to scream at me, okay? I'll get them, fine. There we go. Okay. So I just need to get some more iron to get two. So here is where the not so rare components are gonna go. Why do I need so many of these guys? So these guys are the not so rares. And then here are where, is, where the cool stuff goes. And cobalt for some reason. I told you I didn't want you cobalt. Leave me alone. Yeah, okay, cool. We're gonna keep going. So, what's in here? Oh my, oh, that's pretty cute. Okay, that's collected. Now here's where you go if you want to end it. <laughs> what's in here? Okay, there we go. Man, this is so cool. Honestly, this is amazing. And then here, Okay, let me just go dump some resources. Actually, let me dump some resources in this chest, eh? Why not? Get my aluminum. Yeah. And what's in here? There's a walkway. Put some more aluminum. Why do I have so many food containers? Okay. Uh-oh. I'm indoors anyway. You can't do anything to me. Yeah, I'm going to keep you. Oh, I almost missed this. I am glad I came back for it. 
I'm gonna drop the siren here and this food. I'm gonna keep one container, but the rest should be fine. How do I know where to go? Well, pretty much just stay up, I think, is my rule for now. What are you? Super alloy is now mineable. Awesome. Okay, and jump. Nice, made it. Parkour. Okay. So, we have some more super alloy. And I'm just mining super alloy. The fact that you can just mine it kind of... Is that... Hmm. Can I go here? Oh, that edge worries me. No, okay. See, the issue is I gotta walk back on it, eh? Okay, some more super alloy. Even more super alloy. I'm beginning to think that super alloy isn't that super. If it's everywhere. Some more. Ooh, a chest. We're gonna brave it. Okay. Cool, and so I am back where I started with just a bunch of super alloy and stuff. So let's see if I can walk my way back. No, I'm not gonna risk it. I ain't risking it. I got a lot of super alloy. And we're just gonna see if we can make our way. Mm, my ankles. Okay. We can make it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <sighs> Please tell me it's the same base. Please tell me it's the same base. I know, I know, it's critically low, I know. Hurry up! Run! <laughs> it's the same base. Made it. Barely. <sighs> okay. Cool. Yep. That had me worried. Okay, where's the... How do you make the blueprint screen? I'm gonna make one, so just to get rid of the chips. So it's gonna be a... Where was it? Silicone iron. I have those. Here's iron. Here's silicone. Cool. Let's do that. Let's get rid of them. Because now is the time to get rid of this. Recycling machine. What does a recycling machine do? I could build one of those. Brace down objects into their core components. Objects? Like, okay, we'll figure that one out. Let's keep going. By the way, we're only a hundred k away, less than a hundred k away from getting the blue sky. The sky looks pretty well purplish to me. Okay, so I've seen something here, which is just west of where I was. I need to make it back to base. I need to make it back. Am I gonna make it back? Only time will tell. I am not gonna stop to collect anything. I might not do it. That's fine, I know where I'll be when that doesn't work out. Oxygen level critical, thank you for letting me know. You know, here I was doubting myself that maybe it was critical, you know. And we're off. Cool. No, if it spawns me at the very beginning, I'm going to cry. Oh, perfect. Yeah, okay. I was going to say. Yeah, that would have uh, that been not fun. Is that where I went out? No, I was right here. Yeah, there's another chest there. Cool, let me just get my stuff real quick. There's another chest there. Let's see what's inside that one. Oh, you can go in here. This is crazy. Okay, let's see what this blueprint will give us. Mining speed T3. I have 30%. Nice. So that's how it's going to work. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're already at 90k. Yeah, we're getting there. It's 85k away now. So let's keep going. Now, I want to get back to that base, collect everything, and then take it back to this base, but figuring this path out is going to be a fun journey. 
Okay, and we're here. You know what? Actually, give me some fabric. I think I can make an exoskeleton that makes me walk faster with that. So, we're going to drop some of the, Not drop, but not take with us the first trip we go. Some of this stuff. I'm going to take all the aluminum. And let's go. Cool, we've made it back to base. And now I want the agility boots. So, we're going to... Well, actually, before we put those on, let's make the other ones. I need one more super alloy. Please tell me I have one. Yes. Okay, let's make the second agility boots, and we're already going to move 30% faster. Awesome. And then let's drop the microchip in here. Let's see what we can get out of this. Mapping. I love that. Compass, iron, and silicone. Probably have these somewhere. Yep, iron, silicone, and here's my compass. Wait, first let's see what it takes to make a compass. Yeah, I got this stuff. Okay, so mapping. This I want. Of course, I run out of power. Yeah, yeah. And this should give me power again, but just in case, I'm going to get some more. And we're over 100k. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, we got a veggie tube 3. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we do have to eventually make a trip back as soon as I collect everything here. Yeah, we gotta go back because we gotta upgrade everything in our base. Plus, now that I know we can actually get aluminum from anywhere, so it's no longer a rare resource. Okay, so mapping. No satellite in orbit. Okay, cool. So we're gonna take you apart and I want to keep my compass then since you're completely useless no I just build one of those that's fine I don't know why I took it apart accidentally okay so we have everything we need here do we really magnesium I'll go get my I probably have magnesium in here let's make that mining chip whatever you know let's mine faster I need silicone and super alloy. So silicone I don't have here. Super alloy I have here. This guy looks pretty blue to me. I think. We still have 75 KTI to go. Okay. We got microchip 3 for mining speed. Is it a big difference? I don't think so. We're going to try it out. But I'm not expecting anything insane. Yeah, it feels a bit faster, but it might just be because I'm assuming it's going to be faster, so I feel it to be a bit faster. Cool, so now we're going to go get the rest of those resources. Okay, so let's just gather a bunch of this stuff. Let's put back these oxygen containers, because clearly they were borderline useless. I still got to make one more trip. Okay, so this is going to be our final trip. So let's take whatever we can fit. Eh, we can fit it. Let's take it. Cool. I'm going to keep this here because, you know, in case I want to do some more scavenging. Plus, there's really no point in taking it all. And let's go back to our base. So we're going to use our chip right here. A shredder. What does a shredder do? Shreds. Hmm. Explosive powder. Okay, I haven't unlocked that. Destroys objects placed inside. What's osmium? Okay, so clearly it's way ahead of where I need to be. Okay, so let's grab these resources and make that trip back to base. So this guy does change gradually. It's getting pretty blue. And it's not there yet. We're still at 123k. No, I think I understood it. The reason when you build your base at altitude is because when... Are we going to get oceans? No. Oh, that's crazy. Then I have to take this whole thing apart anyway. Uh, that's not good. Is that is that going to be soon, though? I don't think so. Yeah, but that's why I figured... Uh, no way. Okay. Build it at altitude. Hmm. Yeah, so don't build it down here because this is all going to be ocean. 
No way. If, if I'm right, I, don't let me know, please. I don't 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 spoil it for me. I'm. Oh my god, that's gonna be crazy. We're almost there, eh? Seventy-two percent. Okay, so let's deposit all of this fun stuff. See, I've thought about it, and I think instead of having to destroy this base, I'm just gonna build vertically. And then when the issue becomes a vertical issue, you know, we'll have high enough floors. I think, because moving this is gonna be a big hassle. So yeah, I'm gonna skip that. Okay, so the Veggie Tube T3 is an outdoor. That looks awesome. Okay, now that it's outdoor, it'll actually clear up a lot of space indoors for me. Beautiful. So, to make sure I don't run out of power midway through, I am going to build a bunch of solar panels, so. Okay, so let's put up these guys now. We're getting really close to terraforming. Yeah, we're just flying through at this point. Yep, so let's just watch the sky go blue. In a few seconds. Let me just get some air, you know, so we don't run out. These are completely crushing it. 25 per second, okay. And let's wait it out. Man, this game is so beautiful. It honestly is so beautiful. And here we go. We're verging on it. I wonder what's going to happen. Blue skies. Oh, advanced craft station. No, no, nothing happened. That's it. So now we're going to go to clouds. Okay, so we're at blue sky. We're gonna get to clouds now and we're getting there pretty quick. So it's not like Okay, I guess it works whatever works kind of thing So let's just keep making some more of these oxygen guys. Are you serious with this power? Okay, fine Okay, so our power is back. I just put five solar panels over there So we are terraforming quickly, which is amazing news but let's keep going. So what else do we need to do? We need three more. So let's do that. Oh, I got a new message. Let's read it before I venture out. To whom will receive this message? I am a planet crafter sent to you from Megoria 3 planet. If you receive this, it means you are near. Maybe you are a planet crafter as well. The weather is atrocious. We got a heater T3, nice. And I'm running out of resources. There is not enough on the sparing roll to terraform it. I don't know why I chose this. Death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can send help, please do. Okay, I wish I could. Wait, actually, I, I unlocked this. Advanced craft station. Okay, so let's go get the aluminum first. Oh, there's a ship there. Hmm, we should go discover it. So what I'm learning about this game is there were clearly at all a lot of attempts to, you know, terraform this planet. And then now they're starting, instead of sending crews, they just send out prisoners. Now, if I'm missing anything in this, please let me know. You know, I, I'm not exactly pro at this, but if, if, if I've gone to anything, like over there, there was that machine we had to turn off, but it was a fusion reactor, I think. So, maybe there's a way to turn it on. And then, yeah. So just let me know. And let's keep going. Oh, we're, all, we're almost at clouds. Cool, let's keep going. Man, the speed. Just insane. Okay, so I think I should start building some more things. So... How do I get an iridium rod? I'm gonna build at least one food grower, or should I build more? It takes a lot of energy though. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna grab me some aluminum, 
maybe five. And then because for this, it takes what else? Magnesium. So I'm going to go get five magnesiums and then just switch out five of my solar panels for the mega solar panels. Oh, you can see the clouds beginning to form. Oh, for a second there, I thought those were birds. Okay, so let's switch out these guys for some bigger solar panels. And now we should be able to take down the rest. I got a biodome. What's a biodome? Guess we're going to find out. Where is it? Perfect place to grow plants and generate oxygen. No way. Okay, yeah, let's, let's make a biodome. Let me just put one of these up first. What's a glass what? A glass grass spreader. Oh, it's amazing. Grows grass outside, generates biomass. Yeah, let's do it. Let's grow grass. Gr what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's, so let's make a biodome and let's get grass. First, I need oxygen. Because then we could get oxygen in the atmosphere. Naturally, right? Or do we... Because we would need power at that point. Right? Man, I'm hoping I'm right. Okay, so let's do the biodome first. So two titaniums and then three super alloy. So I just need two titaniums and a lerma. What's a... Which one's a lerma? This one's a lerma. Eh, you're completely useless anyway. Okay, perfect. So we got the biodome. Now... We're going to build it. Yo, this is so big. Can we connect it to our structures? I think the... That's amazing. I want to go inside. And then we want the grass spreader. So Lerma and aluminum. So we have everything else we need, right? Yeah, Lerma and aluminum. I have the aluminum right here. And then the Lerma is one of these guys. There you go, you're a Lerma. But we have a full-blown... Yo! This biodome is creating its own oxygen. Oh, so you unlock stuff now at biomass. A tree spreader. Food grower T2, that's nice. Flower spreader. Biomass rocket. Global generation bonus. No way, that's so cool. Algae generator. Underwater... I knew there was water. I so knew there was water. Okay, so we got enough. Where do we build this guy? Clearly not indoor. Or is it? Maybe inside this? Yeah, I think we gotta do it outside. Okay, one second. This game just got crazy. Do you see this? Okay, so. Launch plat. We're already making rockets. What? We can make a launch platform. Yeah, let's do a launch platform. Actually, wait. No, before I do that, I needed to make this. I need titanium, magnesium. Does it take a while for this to do its thing, or do I have to add something to it? Guess not. So I'm actually gonna wrap this episode up right here. A lot's happened. You know, we've made this biodome. I'm worried that we're going to have an issue with water. So in the next episode, I'm going to be building up quite a bit. And then I'm going to be moving. I'm hoping I don't have to do this. I don't know. I might. I'm going to be moving all my solar panels. So I might do that just behind the scenes. Move everything up wherever as high as I can get. Maybe go up like 10 stories or something. Food level critical. Thank you very much. And yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm loving this. And See you guys. Have a good one, guys. Bye now.